On a less enjoyable note, let's take a look right now at the problem of CD long boxes. These are the hard to open, instantly disposable, and ecologically indefen indefensible long cardboard boxes that compact discs come in, in this country anyway. Nobody much likes them, and now some independent record companies are mounting a campaign to do away with them. Let's cheer them on together. CD packages are kind of a waste because all that space above the CD is just empty space. You, you open it up and there's just air in there. <laughs> it's pointless to, to waste valuable resources and create more pollution and uh, garbage than needs to be. The amount of cardboard that's used is, is like ridiculous. I always feel like done when I get mine and I open up one end and it's just you look down the end of it and there's nothing in there and you think, oh, it must be at the other end. And I always pick the wrong end. Nobody much likes the long cardboard boxes used to package CDs in this country. According to Ban the Box, a new coalition of performers and independent record companies dedicated to abolishing long boxes, they're a tremendous waste of paper. Unlike the old LP sleeves, which at least protected records, the long CD box serves no purpose apart from purportedly hampering shoplifters. We asked some CD buyers what they do with their long boxes. The cardboard box, usually throw it away. Usually you throw them out. Sometimes I use it as a cover for a copy on a cassette I'll make. So I like to put my own covers on my cassettes. The cardboard box, well, well, as most people do, I usually throw it away. 18.5 million pounds of garbage, which uh, translates, if it's all uh, from paperboard, it translates into 100, over 157,000 trees that are destroyed just to make the things. You could take 250 million compact disc long boxes uh, and circle the equator two times um, with, with the garbage. So if long boxes are such a waste, who wants them and why? Well, record retailers want them mainly for three reasons. Theft, deterrent, capabilities of the box, of the long box the cost of refixturing stores, and I suspect the most important of all, the ability to merchandise music and provide information for the consumer as regards the product itself. But long boxes rarely provide any more information than is already on the plastic CD box, and there's no evidence that long box pictures attract record buyers. I buy them for the music. Who buys them for the cover art? It doesn't matter. I listen to the music. I don't look at the box. I think basically people buy CDs for the music and it doesn't really matter what it comes in. Sales figures tend to bear that out. Cassettes, with their even tinier graphics, outsell CDs by almost two to one. Retailers continue to contend that long boxes help prevent in-store theft. But then how come they have no apparent problems protecting cassettes, which are less than half the size of CDs? There are other ways to keep CDs secure, among them the plastic keeper, which fits in long box bins. Another solution is the lift system, which allows customers to browse through CD jewel boxes and then bring them to the counter where they're given the actual CD. But retailers don't seem to want to shell out the money to convert their stores from this to something like this. We have a duty as artists to go to our record companies and say, it's about time you looked at the retailers in the eye and said, I'm afraid you're going to have to buy some new browsers. Because the only reason this is done at this size is to save retailers from buying browsers. Ban the Box is counting on environmentally conscious musicians and record labels to fight the CD long box. And they're also asking consumers to get into the act. Let the clerks know in the stores that uh, you you don't approve of these things, or better yet, when you buy the, the compact disc, uh, take the box off and leave it at the store.